In this example, we're changing decimals to simplified fractions or mixed numbers. And let's see a process that we would use to do that. This first one, if I read that decimal, it's 6 tenths. I can write that as 6 over 10. That's really a fraction. Now what I want to do is reduce that fraction. So I'm going to write numerator and denominator as 2 times 3 in the numerator, 2 times 5 in the denominator. So I'm going to remove my common factor of 2. And what I have then is 0 0.6 is equivalent to the fraction 3 fifths. For part B, I have a whole number in front. So I have 1 and 15 hundredths. I can write that as a fraction 1 and 15 over 100. Once again, I'm going to look for common factors in the numerator and denominator. And 5 is a common factor. So I'm going to write 5 times 3 in the numerator, 5 times 20 in the denominator. Those 5s are going to fall out, leaving me 1 and 3 over 20 as my simplified fraction result. So the decimal 1 and 15 hundredths is equivalent to the fraction 1 and 3 twentieths. My third decimal number is 564 ten thousandths. So I'm going to write that as 564 over 10,000. That is the fraction equivalent. However, I want to write that as a simplified fraction, so I'm going to need to look for common factors. 4 is a common factor between the numerator and denominator. 4 times 141 divided by 4 times 2500. So the common 4s are removed, leaving me with 141 over 2500 and that actually is the final simplified result. The way I know that is 141 as its prime factorization is 3 times a number. 3 will go into 141 47 times. So 141 is 3 times 47. Neither 3 nor 47 will divide 2500. So there are no common factors. So this is my final result for 564 ten thousandths.